We've got another special guest here, a man tonight. Uh, doesn't want a whole lot of recognition, but I think he deserves it. He gave his all and almost his life for his country. He has a World War II, he was a World War II bomber, fighter, pilot. He was a prisoner of war. He co-wrote a book about his experience as a POW called Ticket to Hell, and has another book coming out called Furrow in the Clouds. This is one hero we are very honored to recognize tonight, and he's very lucky to have made it back home. And he is also lucky to be the father-in-law of singer-actress Olivia Newton-John. I played her songs for years, and every time I look at the old movie Grease with John Travolta, she is the sweetest thing in that movie. Adorable person. And Tom, you want to raise your hand and say hello? Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to meet and respect and appreciate our friend, Mr. Tom Easterling. Surprise! This is. I, I, was, I was first surprised tonight when I I came in and uh, saw that I had a special table here with my name on it. Now that doesn't usually happen. I usually sit at the back of the room somewhere. But anyway, I appreciate this, and I appreciate all of you this here tonight. Uh, I wasn't going to say anything, but there's a couple of things here that came out among the other gentlemen that has already spoke. Uh, Ted, uh, uh, thank you for uh, th your comments uh, about uh, my generation influencing you in some way for your service, and we appreciate that. Uh, Dwight said something about uh, uh, when he was in uh, uh, Europe and was going uh, certain places over there, and you said it was kind of cold. I believe you said over through it past on. Uh, that was uh, a memorable occasion for me because uh, on my last mission there, I was on my 86 already. Uh, there, close to Bastogne, when I was shot down. It was cold then, too. Uh, matter of fact, it was the coldest winter for 50 years in Europe at that time. And after I lost all my clothes, it even got cold. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I do uh, want to appreciate you gentlemen being here tonight and all of the rest of you. Uh, I, I would like to mention also, of course, we're celebrating the Korean War uh, Memorial. I'm in all favor of that. Uh, and you can tell by the host that I brought with me here tonight, uh, uh, in-laws and outlaws and some special <laughs> friends. <laughs> And, uh, but uh, also, I want to remind you also that following up on this Korean memorial is going to be built just adjoining that uh, down in the park is the North Carolina Museum and Archives of the Carolinas. And uh, it will soon be having some fundraisers for it. So just want to kind of briefly, uh, those of you that don't know about that, as uh, soon as we get through with the Korean thing, we'll start on this other. Thank you very much. <laughs> 